yeah, I, I thought that uh, I thought we we played pretty good early. Um, made a couple mistakes maybe on defense, uh, but stayed in the game. Uh, got a couple guys on base. Were able to steal a couple bases. Riley had a big big double steal there. Um, I don't remember what inning if that was the third or fourth inning there. And uh, I thought that really helped. That was a, the inning we scored four runs. Um, so that's kind of what we've been doing all year is, is getting on base, putting some pressure on teams. And uh, both him and, and Michael Swolzel have, have done that quite a bit for us. And um, sh sure enough, they both uh, get stolen bases that inning. And then Lucas Wiley, a guy who's hit some home runs here towards the end of the year for us, uh, got a ball up in the zone and, and hit over the fence. So uh, yeah, overall, I thought it was pretty good. Tyler Mitzel um, pitched well, got a little tired there at the, at the end, uh, threw a few too many balls, I thought. But uh, otherwise, he competed for us. He was kind of option two today, our other guy uh, who was going to start with six. So Tyler got out there and got after it, and he's been really good for us, had a, had a good game. Yeah, yeah, we were trying to decide what to do actually with Austin Orvis. It was a situation he's been really good this year, and, and he's usually a maybe one or two inning guy for us, but he has pitched uh, five innings one time this year. So we thought about just letting him go and, and finish it for us. He was pitching really well, and uh, myself and Coach Marty had a discussion. We're like, oh, let's get him out of there, and then we can use him here, uh, whether it be tomorrow or, or or Friday, or I'm sorry, on Saturday, and, and uh, have him ready. And otherwise, he would have been spent for a few days. That's why we decided to go with uh, with Jed at the end. But the the, the heat – Certainly was a factor. He said he was getting a little tired. He could have kept going, but uh, it was a factor. Um, hot. Um, honestly, it was it was pretty cool to be in the regional setting. Of course, my first time being out here, um, along with most of you guys here and honestly it was just got to walk out there and play baseball it's the same game different spot different tournament that's all um i'm out there with same group of guys tyler mitzel on the mound making everybody comfortable just do our thing Um, really, it's just O and O mentality. You gotta keep going, win the first game, win the next one, and keep going with that. Um, we got a lot of guys who do a lot of great things, and I mean, today wasn't exactly the greatest day of baseball that we played, but we got we just gotta walk out there and every day try to play our best game. Yeah, and again, that was important. I think we 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 were going to talk a little more than maybe some other teams down here are used to heat about keeping ourselves rested and and hydrated and that kind of stuff. Uh, it's funny you got to talk about that after a game, and we haven't had to have that discussion all year. So yeah, that's that's a that's a part of it. It's weird, but that's part of coaching is educating you guys on that. So it, Riley said it right. You know, it's just we got to show up tomorrow, and, and we we won one game, but tomorrow that doesn't mean anything tomorrow. And, and we've really had that focus here the last week or so is just getting after the next day and. And forgetting about what happened, the good and the bad today. You know, we, we did we did enough today, and and got some big hits when we needed it, and, and got and threw enough strikes, and and so we'll we'll show up tomorrow and, and ready to go. Thank you. Thank you.